Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? What's up? It's your boy, The Ghetto Agava, a.k.a. Pastor Ted, coming back at you with another video. And we're talking about another unboxing video, that is. And today, we're going to be unboxing the K9 Gaming Laptop Cooler. It's called the Ice Cooler. The ice cooler. This is going to run you around about $37.99. You might could be able to find it on sale um, sometimes for like $30. I got it for like $30. Um, this, uh, this is for gaming laptops. It has multiple um, angle adjustment. It has cool RGB lights. And it has um, six rapid cooling fans. Supposed to be quiet. We'll see if it's quiet or not. Um, it also comes with... Uh, um, a removable phone um, holder so you can have your phone right next to the laptop while you're gaming hmm. and it comes with some beautiful I, I know I said but I love RGB lights so it comes with a beautiful RGB lights. so let's get into the unboxing now like I said $37 the unboxing the beauty of the unboxing is not gonna be beautiful but we're gonna get into it don't need no don't need no um Unboxing life to date. Let's see what's in the box. Let's see what's in the box. We have the this. Put that right here for one second. Get that out. And then it comes with this as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. Like I said, this is not gonna be one of them long unboxing because we don't, it doesn't need to be a long unboxing, but nevertheless, it's unboxing. Here we go now. Um, okay, we'll see what these go for right here. These are little rubber things. Um, now, for $37, now I understand, but these are braided cords. Braided USB to USB, USB A to USB A braided cords. And here go the unit itself. What we're also going to do, we're going to go ahead, we're going to do, um, we do have the, I'm sorry, we have the book right here, RGB product manual, so we do have that, throw that away, so put that, throw that down there, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get into the 360 degree view, 360 degree eagle eye view, I'll be right back. Yo, everybody, I'm sneaking in here, this little insert, to please, please ask you to do me a big favor. Please subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, and please share this content with somebody you might think want the product. It gives the big channel a big help if you will subscribe. My analytics show that people are watching, and I thank y'all for watching, but I need y'all to please hit the subscribe button to help a brother out. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video. Yo, so, welcome back. This is the 360 degree Eagle Eye view. And everything on top of here, minus the book, is what you get inside the box, which is not much. But you can see they even have a, a small little LED screen on it. We gonna find out what these little rubber things are for. But these are your rubber. These are the rubber, little rubber things I told you about that came with it. This is the braided cord. Now I like this. Look at that braided cord. I like that. Like that. Pretty decent. I wish everything could come with braided cord like that. And here we go. This is, you can, count, you can see four small fans and two bigger fans on the front. It has the name on it. You can see we, we're going to be testing, you know, looking at this. This is the um, little small LCD panel. I'm trying to see if I can get that, peel that off. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Then we have this. 
Oh, so it comes on. Kind of flimsy here. So if you end up getting this, watch out for that. That's flimsy. Okay, you have these right here. So I wonder do these go on here like this? I'm guessing that's where they go at. So we found out what they're for. You can just take them off. Put them in. And they might not go there. We'll see. We go around. This is how the side look. This is how the back look. You have the two USB ports. This is how the other side looks. Now we're going to go to the bottom. Now at the bottom you can see the fans. Let's see if we can see if we can how we can get this to so you go there you go. That's how you you get the um Okay, so then we have this little wire thing in the back here. So we so you can open it. You have this little wire piece here. That's right there. This little, these little legs to prop up tools. So what you could do, you can go ahead and prop this up, you know, kind of way. As I know this is not the op. So you can see these little grooves here. And it has these on both of the legs, both sides, right here. So you can have it all the way up. Do you have a, so I'm guessing this right here is the foam piece. You'll see where the foam piece is. It's supposed to be a foam piece here. Let's see how we can get this off. So now to get this off, you want to push up on it. And you take it off like that. Excuse me. And what you can do, you can put this like that. And that becomes your phone holder. Comes your phone holder. You can do that for the left or right. Oh, because you have that right there. So you can do the left or right. So that's pretty decent. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the laptop. And we're going to turn this puppy on and let's see how it functions. Okay, everybody, we're going to go ahead and turn it on and see how everything looks today. I got my laptop on here. I do have it at a little small angle. Um, you're not going to be able to see the angle I have it at, but uh, I can turn it around a little bit. I have it on that angle. I don't know, I got everything coming up too. But I have it set up pretty, not on the highest angle, but it's on the angle. Sorry for my mess. Um, it's on a decent angle. The reason why um, I turned down the light so you can at least see the RGB when I cut it on. Let's go ahead and cut it on and see how it looks. <clears throat> That's how it looks. Now, as you can see. It's already when you cut it on, you already it's already on level one as far as the fan. I don't know if you can hear that. But let's lift it up and so you can see how it looks underneath. That's how the fans are going. The fans are going. So we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna just turn it off. Now hit the button one time, turn it off. Now the RGB lighting is still going. As you can see. Even when it's off, the RGB light lights are on. So I don't know if you can actually turn those off. But as of right now, I don't know. Let's turn it back on. So it does have a lit, lit up LED screen. Now, you can turn this into different colors. Hold on for one second, guys. I'm going to try to do this better. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my, my batteries, portable battery packs. So we get it. So we can see how it looks without all the. So now this is how it looks. Put it down a little bit. There we go. That's how it looks. Now you can see again. Turn it off. Turn it on. You got the everything. The RGB is going. 
And then on top of that, you could change the color. You could change the color of the RGB on the outside. Bring it in right here. You could change the RGB on the outside with this. Turn change the solid colors. It has it has seven different color color options or color that you could change on the outside, not on the inside. The, the fans on the inside stays blue at all times. But let's see if we can turn the fans up. See if we can hear it. That's on level one. That's level. That's level three. Well, that's level three. Level four. Level five. That's max. Let's do that again. So you can go back down. Max. So six is max. Five, four, three, two, one. So I think it was already set to two. So that's level one. Level two. Level three, level four, level five, and level six is max. I don't think that's too noisy. Actually, it sounds quieter than the actual fan on my gaming laptop. buttons are kind of loud so you turn it off and the fans go off but the rgb lighting still kicks on now now what we're going to see we're going to see how this phone thing holds up let's see how it is but I mean, that's not bad that phone thing is not that bad. It's okay. I mean, it's kind of cheesy to me. I was looking for something to be a little bit better than that, but it's okay. It ain't the best. So, but look, this has been your 365 Eagle Eye view of the ice cooler, the K9 ice cooler gaming laptop cooling pad. Let's get back to the regular view, give you my final thoughts about this product and give it a grade. Be right back. Yo, 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 I'm back. I'm back with my final thoughts and giving the ice cooler K9 gaming laptop cooling pad a grade. That's a mouthful. Now, one thing I am going to ding it on. Now they said, well, this has a cell phone, you know, a cell phone holder that you can put your cell phone, you know, on it, you know, within it. So it could be right next to your cooling pad, next to your, your laptop. And to me, to be honest with you, um, I'm kind of mad about that. First of all, I don't think it has to be, I think it should have been something that you could slide in and out, um, lift up, turn around, right? This it shouldn't be something that you have to snap off or snap on. I think it should be, you know, push in, push out. I think that would have been better. Um, also, if you have a phone like I do that has an OtterBox case on it or any thick case on it, you're not going to be able to get this in there. And see, even if you press it in there, instead of being up like this, it's going to be tilted like that. So I'm going to ding it for that because I think that's um, that's poor, you know, poor design or not think not not having a forethought to think that somebody. We have an otter box on their phone because most people that I know use a case, even if it's a jail case, but sometimes they use thicker cases depending on where they work at and stuff like that. So I'm a dinger for that. Now, I do like the fact that they gave you a braided cord. I do um, like the fact that they gave you a braided cord. I do like the fact that, you know, that is, it's not that loud. It's not that loud. Um, 
to me it's not that loud. I do like the fact of that. I do like the fact that you have multiple color options when it comes to the RGB. I do like the fact that it gives you, you know, it has a small LED, light up LED, even though it lights up for a couple of seconds, still a light up LED. So you can see, you know, what level on, what number on now. The one thing about it, now again, $37.99, it's not gonna give you the best build quality. This is made out of plastic. The gate is made out of metal. Um, don't know what type of metal it is, but it's made out of metal. Um, and this, you know, this is plastic. So the body is plastic. Now, I'm, you know, this is only my second cooling pad that I have. The other one I had was plastic as well. I don't know if the, um, the materials, you know, get, get better as the price go up or if most of them are made out of, you know, hard plastic. Anybody who is a connoisseur of cooling pads for gaming laptops, please, you know, get in the uh, comments below and let me know, um, does do the materials upgrade so you have all aluminum, you know, chassis and things like that. I think, I'm, I'm sure you can get something like that. I do like the fact that it's adjustable. It can go all the way flat as well. Um, I like it. Um, very easy to use, nothing hard about it. Um, it. It does, it says what it does and it does what it says on a box. Um, very simple. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it an A. Um, and the reason why I'm going to give it an A because like I said, I always say this, if it comes out the box and it does what it says it does and it has it's good built quality, I'm going to give it an A. That means I'm going to use it. And I might you know, actually bring it back at a later date and talk up the, the things I don't like about it, the things I do like about it once I really, really use it. So this is just an initial um, how I um, how I see it um, from the open right from the beginning of opening um, from unboxing it. I like it. Um, it's, it's it's not heavy at all. Not heavy at all. Not heavy at all. So you could put this in your backpack with you to take it with you. Now I know there's some that's thinner than this and it's more portable. Um, a lot more portable. So um, I don't know how. I mean, it's portable, that is light, but depending on how big your book bag is, you might want to take it with you. You might not want to take it with you. It's all about how big your book bag is. And now some of these kids that go to school, man, their book bags are bigger than them. So they can fit this definitely in there. I don't know why their parents walk around, they got them big big book bags bigger than they are. And it look like they're, gonna, they're leaning back. So they, they have to, the parents tell them, oh, you know, you know, push forward so you can keep, you know, you can stay stabilized. I don't know why, but if you got one of them book bags, you can fit it in there. If you got one of them, one of them thin, wimpy book bags that you just, you know, carry in one book in, you don't want to take this. Well, look, I like it. The, um, the price and everything will be in the description down below. Hey, do me a favor before I go, before I go, please subscribe to the channel. This is my first video of... 2000, I mean, 2022. Um, so please do me a favor. Thank you for my current and new subscribers for rocking with your boy. Uh, thank you for all the love I'm getting. But do me a favor, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and share this content with somebody that might be interested in something like this. You never know, you might hear, you know, you know, while you're in your email, I mean, I wish I had a cooling pad, man. My, my laptop keep overheating. Hey, I just saw a video. Hey, do that too. The Ghetto Ogfer, aka Pastor Tech, thanking you for rocking with me yet again on another unboxing video. Hey, stick around, come back, and I'm gonna have some new unboxings coming soon. You have a good day and peace.